you mentioned, and we can obviously see that you're of Chinese descent. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from a Chinese background and a yeah. family, was there pressure, to, pressure for you to be an accountant, a doctor, or like with your family, yeah, whatever you want to do, Karen? Well, it was interesting because it was a bit of both. Um, I think that, you know, there was, my parents were awesome in the way that they gave me all the opportunities they could give for me to pursue the things that, you know, I, I was interested in or passionate about or felt inclined to because I just thought, no, I can do that. And they go, okay, go do it. But at the same time, it was, it was kind of funny because culturally, you know, there was that sense of the question, you know, that would always come up, you know, that, oh, maybe you should do a business degree or something to, you know, to just back you up or, yeah. You know, and they'd have that moments where the question would come, you know, um, are you, you know, do you really want to do this? Or is this really working for you? And because maybe you should, because you're smart, you know, so you could do like, you know, if you wanted to be a lawyer or something like that, you could. I remember going to, in year 10 doing work experience, I went to a law firm and I was just like, you know, doing the stuff and trying to be a part of it. But I just felt like, man, this is not me. But there are so many things that, as in life, you know, sometimes you kind of try to just, you know, to assimilate, to try and, you know, whether it be please others or try to just for yourself to fit in and you go, yeah, I can do this. And, and so, you know, you tried, I tried. <laughs> but I know this, the, the, the artistic side of me just kept coming through, so cool. yeah. In addition to play school, I mean, obviously being at NIDA, you, you've trained to be an actor and you've been in a number of uh, films, Danny Deck Chair, The Nugget, Superman Returns, and also on TV in Home and Away mm. and All Saints. Yeah. Um, if you could choose a dream acting role out of everything that's on the screen, whether it's small or large at the moment, yeah. is there an ideal job, an, a role that you would love to have? Ah, oh, well, it used to be Mulan. And yep. I used to be like, I want to play Mulan. You know, she's like, she's tough, but she's still sort of like, you know, kind of a girl, like she's still young and she's trying to fight, you know, sort it all out. And she fights and she, you know, does this amazing courageous thing and just goes in there. And I used to go, I want to be her. And she was Chinese, you know? Yep. So that's changed a little because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little older now. So <laughs> I think, but there's still qualities of that, you know, because I guess, you know, in terms of where I've been and my background, I have a, I have a story to tell now. And, and I think why I want to be an actor was because I want to tell stories and I have those stories within me and I have experiences that I can give life. So in that sense, I think it's not so much the dream role, but it's just the dream is still there to now more than ever is to have that kind of sense of Mulan, which is you know, to fight the good fight and to step up and to be courageous. And it is about those stories of moving through the darkness or through the depths and coming out and giving people a moment that I think that film and TV, you know, I think that it is still a blessing from God that he tells those stories and helps those people, people see a, a slice of their life and go, yeah, I can do that, you know, um, or that really touches me or how can I help someone else, you know, who is... Yeah, yep. so it's going through the same thing. You've just recently released a, a kids album uh, with Colin Buchanan and yep. it's, a, it's a, a, a CD on faith and your faith. Mm. What was that experience like? Oh wow, that was, that was an, a great experience. I mean, it was like, uh, it was challenging, but it was uh, so rewarding. It was so satisfying. It was like, um, at times you just, you know, we thought, how are we gonna work this out? And, and, but in the end, it was such a privilege and honour because I think, you know, working with someone like, especially like Colin, who has so much more experience in terms of, especially musically than I do, I learnt a lot from him. But I also learnt a lot from him um, in terms of, you know, his love for God and his experience in expressing that in lyrics, you know, especially for children. He, you know, he was able to break down something that was, you know, quite, you know, it was hard to get your head around, but he would break it down so that it was not only fun, but it was easily like understood and it, you know, it was tantalizing, you know what I mean? So I learned a lot about that. But I, I mean, also learned in terms of, you know, for myself, like, yeah, wow, how, how do I put myself into this? And, and how do I like, you know, also express 
my faith that God has also honed and molded too. And so in the end, it was two unique you know, experiences of faith, you know, coming together. And, and that was a beauty, like in terms of the, yeah, combining our, yeah, our qualities and our talents into the one place and making it happen. That yeah. was a real, like, joy. What's, what's in store for you career-wise and work-wise? Well, at the moment, um, I go back into play school and I'm also doing Home and Away at the moment. What's Home and Away like? There's so many tragedies that take place on that. I mean, it's like oh constantly in a state of flux and stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Oh, boy. I mean, I, I don't know how they keep coming out with, like, storylines, but... I mean, that know. plane crash was a mess. Yeah, <laughs> it was. <laughs> But I think, you know, they were looking for something kind of big, you know. Um, they had, you know, they've had many deaths and many sort of like, you know, sort of, I know, evil, like, you know, sort of people who came in, they were good and they, you know, sort of wanted to marry someone and they turned out to be bad and say, I'm not marrying you anymore. And yeah. So I think it's time they, you know, I don't know what new thing that they could come up with. Well, there's two constants, I guess. There's um, Irene and, and Alf, isn't there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. As long as they're okay, we're okay. Yeah, I know. Karen Payne, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Really enjoyed the conversation. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs>